Hello everyone, this is Thursday, August the 3rd, 2023. The time is 11.30 a.m. and we have a current temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, which feels more like about 28 with the humidity factor. So not a bad day out here today, really, really nice. Today we're going to be walking around downtown Dartmouth and uh, see if we can discover anything that we haven't seen before. And as I was about to start this video, I discovered something. Sitting right here in plain sight, that is a cannon barrel. And it says, old cannon, okay? Said to have been mounted on the summer estate of Sir John Wentworth at Preston, placed here about 1800, at which time this corner, so this cannon barrel has been here since 1800, at this corner, properly formerly owned by David yeah. Greaves of the Nantucket Whalers, yeah, was in possession of, service, the, uh, of Lieutenant Governor Wentworth, the Nova Scotia Historical Society in 1956. Okay, so this cannon barrel, it's been in the spot since 1800, and I just noticed it now. I wonder how many people has walked by this cannon barrel and didn't even look at it. Thought it was a post. I thought it was a. I thought it was some kind of a post right here. Never looked at it. Here we are, cannon barrel since 1800, right here on the corner of Portland and Alderney. Be worth taking a look at next time you come walking around downtown Dartmouth, right across from the ferry terminal. So if you come straight down Portland till you come to the ferry terminal, right here on that corner is this old cannon barrel and there's a plaque telling you all about it, okay? All right, let's, let's get uh, moving. We're gonna look around downtown Dartmouth today. I know I've been here before, but you can always find something new, right? Eh? That, I never noticed that before. We'll see what else we can find down here to, to uh, satisfy the inquisitive mind. The one that just needs to know. That's me. I need to know. I'm inquisitive. I want to know. All right. We're going up Portland. This is the other part of Halifax that a lot of people don't see when they come to Halifax. And it's very easy. You can just get on that ferry. Yeah, and I think it's about, I don't know, pence. If you're a senior, it's only $1.80 for a ticket, but if you're, or $2 cash, I think. And everybody else, I think it's $2.50 or $2.75 or something like that. And you can get on the ferry and come right over here and walk around downtown Dartmouth and see what all's here. And it's the it's the rest of the city. It's part of part of Halifax, but it's a separate because it's separated by the harbor. It's across the harbor. And you can walk the bridge. I've done it a few times. Or you can take a bus. The bus that's going to square will bring you to the Dartmouth bus terminal. And you're not very far from everything when you're at the Dartmouth bus terminal. Okay. I just seen something up in here. I gotta see if it's real or not. It looks like two huge seagulls on top of that light pole. It is, it is real. I just saw them move. Can you see them in this picture? Two huge seagulls. They like sitting on, up on lights. 
I notice any any tall light pole. If there's anything on it, it'll be a seagull. They love getting up on high poles. I guess that's where they feel safe. No, nothing's going to bother them up there. Well, let's see. What are we going to do today now? We're going to walk around downtown and try to see if we can find anything new or anything different. take some side streets while we're here so you can have a, a look at some of the side streets. Let's go on this one. King Street. It's King Street over there. I presume it's King Street here as well. So let's walk up King. It's been a while since I would have walked up King Street. It's always nice to show a little bit of Dartmouth sometimes. Halifax has always been shown. Have you guys looked at any of my Toronto videos that I made when I was up there last summer? Some of those are, are quite interesting. There's the Royal Canadian Legion, so if you want to know where it is, it looks like quite a big building. There's one building over there, and then there's one here, quite a bit here. So it is on King Street, one block in, on the corner of King and Queen. There it is, one block in from, from Portland. One block in from Portland is the corner of King and Queen. They, uh, Look at that building. Our weird and wondrous, that weird and wondrous queen. Something, it's hard to make it all out, it's kind of strange, but that was weird and wondrous queen. It says a lot more, but you can't read it all from where I'm standing. Looking right down Queen Street, you can see the ferry terminal, Dartmouth ferry terminal right there, the big entrance. So you're not too far away from downtown when you're out there. Gonna get loud, I'm walking by a generator or, a, or, or something like that. No, I think it's a air, air compressor, that's what it is. The air compressor. Sidewalk ahead. So, well, I think that's okay for now. Something new stuff gets built right here. It's an old building, kind of in the kind of water look. There is a old church that's been here a long time. I don't know if I tell the date of it. Maybe there's usually a cornerstone somewhere in the in, in those buildings to tell you the date they were made. It looks like it's still still operational. June 28th. Well, a little bit out of date there. June June 28th, August 1st. Services at 10 a.m. That's for summer holidays, they have a different schedule, as most churches do, have a, have a different schedule on the summer holidays. 
Grace United, a friendly and caring congregation. Uh, I, not, I'm not a great reader, though, am I? I stumble over some of these words, eventually get them out. I just want to see when the, you know, when the church was built. If there's, a, if there's a stone here that says when it was built, that would be nice. It's always nice, I like those big windows in the front there. Always interested in the dates of old buildings when they were built, but I don't see a stone that says when it was built. Interlude Spa. That looks like a very old building right there too. Not sure what it is, but it looks quite old. Okay, we got a spa right here. Then we got Interlude Fitness right here. Which is down to that little walkway. I'll just walk in and show you where it is. Okay, Interlude Fitness is right or Interlude Spa, sorry. Interlude Spa is right there. You gotta come in this little alleyway to get to it. So I'm warm in here because there's no wind in there. It's totally warm. Okay, Propeller Brewing is right here. North Brewing Limited, a bar, I guess, a beer, beer place. And an outdoor, a little bit of an outside spot here. So everything is not on Portland. This is Queen. Queen Street? Queen Street? No. Sorry. Archer Lonely. I've, I've changed streets. I'm on Archer Lonely and Wentworth. And this is uh, just showing you that not everything is on Portland. Some stuff is over here. Here's a, here's a coffee place. Anchored Coffee. Hmm. Downtown David. I wonder what it's like in there. Hard to say. Maybe they just sell coffee. I don't know. Let's have a look. See if I can see anything through the windows. No, it's not. It's not running. Maybe they just sell bag coffee. Looks like I just sell bags in there. I don't think it's a coffee shop. I think it's a coffee distributor. So I was on Acheroni, and now, oh look at this, and I'll get back to what street we're on here after I verify it, because I don't walk all the time out here on these streets. Look at that, nice uh, bricks, beautiful, nice, very nice place. Railroad box wet flow. Okay. Make of it as you will. Ah, uh, let's see. Now a lion got a building over here and they got one in Halifax as well. We were on uh, Wentworth, Wentworth Street. This is Wentworth. And that next street is Acheroni, and this one is um, Queen, maybe. Maybe. I think it might be Queen. All right, let's see. What do you want to do now? We'll go, let's go this way. Oh, that's the old post office. That's getting um, either torn down or fixed. They might be making something out of it, or they might be just demolishing it and putting up a, a tower, who knows. Anyway, it's got a fence around it, it's slated for something. There's a sign up here, it might tell us something about what's going to happen here. I'll be happy to pass it on to you folks if, if, it's, 
if there is. Yes, it looks like a condo. The lady proposed in your neighborhood, 50 Queen Street. This is Queen Street. And that right there is a monument to. to I'm going to see if I can tell what it is. I'll have to pre preserve that and put it somewhere else. A memory of all those who fell in the Great War. So, Roll of Honor, Roll of Honor. These are people who lived in Dartmouth side who died in the war is second, the Great War, second must be Second World War. Uh, here's what's going right here. Yeah, you're going to be happy to know this because if I hadn't taken this walk over here, you might never know this. Right here on Queen Street, one block in from Portland, is this place that's going up here. It looks like they might be preserving some of the post office. Yeah, it looks like they are. They're gonna keep the they're gonna keep one part of it. Okay, let's see. We can make head or tail of it this. <coughs> the two-story structure right there looks just like this. This two-story structure right there, this part. And this part must be coming down. They just gotta save the, that one part that was the post office. This part here, they're gonna just tear it down. Okay, let's see what it says. An application has been, an application by RHAD Architects to enter into a development agreement to allow a 142 unit, 90 mixed use, I just, 90, not sure what that means, I had to interpret that, but 90 M mixed. Use addition to a registered heritage property at 53 Queen Street, Dartmouth. This is a heritage property because of the post office. So they're trying to save it. Though I guess, I guess that's, that's what they will probably. It'll be known as the post office, even long after it's not the post office. Okay, a mixed use high-rise building with commercial uses on the ground floor, grade-oriented townhouse units. A restored former post office building. So they're going to restore that post office. It's not going to be the post office. It probably be a. It could be a really nice restaurant in there, or a couple of things. It's got two floors. Could be a. Could be a, a coffee house. Could be a. Could be a restaurant. Could be. Could be any number of things like that. Got to be something that people's going to want. Could be a restaurant uh, and a coffee place. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways, that 53 Queen Street, Dartmouth. And I'm not sure of the height, it doesn't say. It shows the picture of the tower part, but it doesn't show as far as it goes. It ends right there. And that particular one is there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten visible and a peak of eleven. So I don't know. It's going to be a, a good addition to this neighborhood anyway. So there's our second big discovery today. So you learn a lot by walking around and looking for things, or looking for discoveries. I think that cannon barrel was fantastic. Alright, now we'll go down this way and see if there's anything down here that would be interesting to show you. See, there's always something to do. I didn't know where. I was going to make a video today. I had to make one somewhere, and I just wasn't sure where. And I ended up over here on Queen Street. And said, well, we just do some of these back streets along here and see what we can find. This is a business part of the, the city. It's just that there's a lot of residential, but it can easily be business as well. This building right here, I'm not sure if it's a new building or... I was right past here a few minutes ago, but I didn't take a look at the front to see. It looks kind of like a, a new structure, or it could be a refurbished one. But you got a noisy machine there, but this 
District 5 Bar and Grill. District 5 Bar and Grill. Okay. Okay. So, now you know what it is. So, District 5 Bar and Grill. Now let's get away from that noisy machine over there. When I walked up, I came up King Street, which is that way, but I'm gonna go down this way now on, on Queen Street. We're exploring, trying to find things that we're not, didn't know we're here. Things can change a lot in a few months. I had no idea that condo building was going up right there and they're preserving the post office. It'd be interesting to see what it is. I think it'd be a great place for a restaurant. But it's two stories. You have to have something upstairs too. So. Anyways, it'd be nice to see what happens there. I hope it gets built. And I hope, hope they put something nice into that post office spot. There's a parking lot right there that could, if they ever decide to sell that ground, you could get some good buildings in there too. Look at this truck right there, what fell off of that tree. <laughs> it's all covered in the stuff that blew off that tree. All right, I'm going down this alley. Like alleys, I do. Love alleys. I love alleys, paths, secret things. Lots of cameras up here. They must, uh, I'm not sure why there's so many cameras here. And this one, this little camera, is one of those ones they can swing it around whenever they want to. I guess it's watching the parking lot over here. But it's made to swivel around and rock up and down. So it's one of those cameras that can, if they want to watch you, they can zoom in on you and follow you around. So beware. Now we're back over to Ocherlone, but we're in a different, little bit different part of Ocherlone, <clears throat> which I'm not going to walk right up. And I want to, I want to stick around down this area and see what all's here because we're right downtown, and this if we're going to find anything, it will be here. All right, we'll get across the street as soon as we can. All right, let's go. I bet you don't know what this little area is called. <laughs> a lot of these little spots got a name. The name's on this building right here. I'll show you in a minute. I'll tell you what it is and I'll show you. It's called Quaker Landing. Bet you didn't know that, did you? This is called Quaker Landing. Yeah, I'll show you the sign. That's how I know. Quaker Landing right here. This is the Quaker, Quaker Landing. Very nice, great name. 33 Ocherlone. Let's see what's in here. Barristers and solicitors and notaries. There's our lawyers. Uh, insurance. Vets Canada. Surveyors. Cities of Nova Scotia. Genealogical Association. A lot of people are interested in things like that these days. And, uh, and then there's a sign on the other side. And I got something flying on my glasses. 
a, a, a fly of some kind. All right, there, I got it off. And it's the same, uh, okay, over here you got, I still got something crawling on my glasses. There it goes. It, I don't want to get a mosquito on me. It might, it might uh, make me itch. So, this one is a uh, McGilvery. This is McGilvery. Uh, Barrister Solicitor noted they're, they're also over across in that new building beside uh, Tim Hortons over, over there the, by the waterfront. So you got offshore medical service, wealth management, meditation, and flight. Oh, I'm sorry, not the, mediation, not meditation. Big difference there. Mercer, me, mediation, and financial, and indigenous relations. Okay, there you go. I stumbled through it. Quaker Landing. Now we know. On the corner of Archer Loney and Edward. Let's go this way. See what we can discover. We have a lot of leaning poles here in this city. I don't know if every city has that problem, but the poles are all leaning over. Not all of them, no, but a good portion of them are, are leaning. They tried to shore it up with cement, but that didn't help. I see where they put a cement casing around the bottom to try to make it stand up straight, I guess. And no, it's not going to. It's going to be leaning over. All right, now we're going up this way. Okay, I'm back. My story's got full. I had to erase some videos. I should have erased those before I started, but I forgot, I guess. Um, anyways, we're, we're erased now. We should be okay. We'll just uh, let them go. There we go. All right. This uh, street, there's no exit up that way, so we're not going to go that way. But this street has a little walkway right here. So we're going to walk up it. You can park two hours right here. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. As we explore the outer reaches of downtown Dartmouth. I like this right here. I think I've been over this once before. It's very, very uh, different from most of the streets you'd ever see. No parking, of course. <laughs> And this would have to be a one-way street. You could not drive safely if this was a two-way street. So you go out this way. And no U-turns up over the hill. Hey, wasn't that cool? Now, we know where that went. If you come out through there, where does this go? If you go up over that hill. Okay, there's the fire hall. Halifax is full of steep streets. 
steep hills and inclines. This is called North Street over here. We have a North Street in Halifax, but this is North Street, Dartmouth. And if you think this isn't steep, come over and walk it. This is going to be one of the steepest little streets. It's not very long, but it sure is steep. North Street. I didn't even know it was called North Street. When the cars are coming the other way and you're driving along a flat street, this hits you all of a sudden like you don't even know it. If I remember the first day we came to this, we were driving and it was fairly flat. You come over a little hump, but yeah, back up, back up, come on, back up. Here. Back up. Look how steep this is. That is a really steep street. Very, very, very steep street. But I was, as I was saying, I remember the first day that we we were just out driving, and we came over this hump. It goes back down the hill on the other side, but not anything like that one and we came over that hump and we're like whoa how steep is this so there we are right there look see how steep this road is it's a steep hill let's cross the street and i'm going to go down the other side hidden driveway yeah it would be hidden this is so steep I bet you if I took off from a dead stop on a bicycle and didn't even pedal it, just let it go, I bet you I could hit 30 miles an hour by the time I hit the bottom. I wouldn't doubt it. Very, very steep. This is the walkway that I started to walk up when I cut across before, so we'll go down it now. I saved it for after. <laughs> Okay. All right, here's our little walkway, right here. A lot of surprises on this video today. Things that you didn't know were here. Well, I'm really excited to see that when they start building that building where the old post office is there. That's going to be wonderful to refurbish the old post office and do something with it. It won't be a post office, but... This apartment building is called the Avery. Let's go over go down this side. Well, this is just one little neighborhood of Dartmouth, but we covered it in pretty good... We didn't see every single street on it, but we, 
we covered it pretty good and now we are going down towards the water again the harbor somewhere down there will be the end of this video Look at these little flower beds right here it's along the sides. And there's a building that got tore down. I wonder what's going there. It's hard to say. We're having a fair right here now, down at Alderney Landing. I'm back on Alderney where I started out. 40 minutes ago or so. Taking up a little more wind right here. Alderney Landing. There's the official sign. Walk across here. At the corner of Archeloni and Alderney is the ferry terminal. And it goes one full block. It goes up to where Portland meets Alderney. I'm not going in the carnival. I don't have time for that. I get I'm just going to show you a little bit from right here. I have to um, go home shortly. And as I help my wife out with some of the things around the house, I, I can't neglect that. So, so I got to go home and uh, do a little tidying up and uh, see what we're going to have for supper. And I took out some... Uh, chicken before I left the house, put it in the, put it still in the wrapper in the sink and let it sit there to maybe thaw out a little bit before, before I get home. Train's coming. Look at this. You got to get a good up close look of the train.
top our video off with a train. Maybe it's, maybe it's only a couple of engines. I don't think there's anything hooked to it. It's just, just the engines. All painted up nice anyways. All right. That's it. We're going through here. And there goes the other way. But we can't walk the track, obviously, because that would be dangerous. Hey, opening time. Well, let's go. Let's just go walk through the carnival before I go. I guess I will, and then we'll go from here inside and maybe get a small coffee and hang here for a few minutes then i'll take the bus and go home sounds like a plan all right let's walk through here there's not much going on right now because this is the daytime there's wash, there's toilets in here though. And uh, sometimes that's a stage, but that's not a stage this time. Bank machines. And if you take money out of them, it costs you money. Don't, don't, don't go there if you don't have to. Go to your own bank. My bank doesn't cost me anything because I get special privileges of being a senior. They don't uh, charge you any any fees from my bank. And I have another bank, an online bank, which I can use all I want, and it doesn't cost me anything. Can you believe that? It's true. You can go all you want. To, you can use your card ten times a day. You can do whatever you want to do, and there's no charges at all. So that's a really great, great bank. But it's not a physical bank, it's an online bank. But you can trust it, it's, it's, a, it's a trusted uh, trusted bank. All right, there's the big uh, Ferris wheel here. Last time we were in here, we were to the Rootfest. This stuff here, is, it's exciting for children. That's, that's about it, Let the children get, get really excited over this stuff. For, uh, I have a Rolling Stone shirt too. Cool. Yeah, you, did you go to the thing they had here? No? Oh, yeah. Well, that's just looking around the, the carnival a little bit here. There's not a lot here. But for kids, it will be a lot. Like, it will be really exciting for kids to come here. I never saw these little buildings before. I don't know if the shops. Little stores, I guess that's the idea. Not sure. Never saw them before. Wow. Must be uh there must be shops of some kind. Alright, well let's go in. And I'll sign off here. I'll sign off right here, looking at the carnival. All right, there you go. If you like this video, push like. If you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you become a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, my thanks to you for subscribing. And thanks to all you people who make comments. I just love reading those comments. And with that, I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, be safe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.